So Cardi B did a maternity shoot and in the background you could see the word P file. Now when a lot of people seen this, they felt like she was being shady or trying to throw shots or shoot shots at a Nicki Minaj. So one person on Twitter said, it's a little weird to have that term in the background for a maternity shoot, don't you think? Cardi B responded said, first of all, we literally had to pick a random street because paparazzi was hounding us everywhere. This was supposed to be my original first picture and we had to edit the photos in minutes because the shoot got leaked. Didn't even have enough time to go over every detail because we were busy trying people were busy trying to expose my pregnancy as a ah moment second i'm always with the ish i'm not using my maternity shoot to be funny are you dumb this twitter user accused cardi b of lying and they said i hate that y'all let people get away with doing weird ish just because they claim they were unaware like ninja you're a whole celebrity with a team this is a bsa excuse and not gonna lie Cardi B responded to them and said a team be my makeup artist touched up the picture because we didn't have time for all that. It says the date and time and nobody was paying attention to the graffiti. Second, if I wanted to be petty, I would have posted a lot of memes last week. I keep telling y'all to leave me the F alone. If I'm saying I'm not on that time, don't make me get on that time. Unrisk yourself. Well, you guys know that Cleo Trapper has been exposing Ice Spice since last night and now she exposed the fact that Ice Spice is scared of Cardi B. So Cleo Trapper tweeted and said P word, but you were shaking on your bus thinking Cardi sent people to get you jumped. Whole time it was a lady and her kids just trying to get an autograph like help. Who the F told you to start with that lady anyways and nobody you picked with her now you scared. Now take pictures, take pictures, always like, enjoy the moment. Well, Ice Spice ended up responding to Cleo Trappa, and here's what Ice Spice had to say. Or like, they're not getting exactly what they want out of a situation the way that they want it. You know what I mean? It's like, that's when they decide to crash out every single time. Like, I'm noticing a pattern, bro. And the shit is sad because I genuinely was trying to help her. Like, I'm like, yo, do you want to just come on this tour? You know what I'm saying? Like, you could just, like, join. Like, mad last minute type shit. What had actually happened is that we added another tour bus. So I'm like, now we have extra room. We have extra bunks. So I'm like, oh, let me see if Cleo wants to come. Feel me? So she could do, like, her songs and stuff like that. But... That's what the fuck I get for trying to be a good person. It's whatever, bro. Honestly, like, you know, that's not going to stop me from still trying to be a good person. Like, I'm going to always help the next person out. Like, and that's really my fault for real because whatever, though. But to say, like, just to leave out so many details is crazy. Like, how you not going to tell the people, bitch, we was on them rides at the theme park screaming our vocal cords out. Like, to the point where the next day it was hard to perform. Like, bitch, we was having fun. So for you to try to sit here and complain about a chicken salad, it's like, you never came to me talking about a chicken salad. What are you really talking about right now? You gonna send me a whole essay after tour? Like, you just gonna get off the bus? I don't even know you got off the bus. And you gonna send me an essay with a with an intro, bodies, and a conclusion? Like, and you want me to try to, like, analyze this shit and figure out how I'm wrong when all I did was was share my stage with you when I didn't even have to do that? You got less than 10,000 listeners and I'm sharing my stage with you and you feeling so entitled. Like, you thinking that my, my like, my peoples that work for me is supposed to work for you too? Like, that's so crazy to me. Like... How I'm in the shower, you gon' you gonna barge in while I'm butt ass naked trying to press me about some bags that you gotta carry some bags. What? Like nah, that's that shit, bro, but that's all I could do, y'all. All I could do is sigh about it, cause it's just like what can you do, bro? It's like, damn. Crash outs and they going on rants, bro. Crash outs and they going on rants. But fuck it, though. At the end of the day, it's whatever, bro. Like, this shit comes with it, you know? Like, y'all see clearly this that this this will come with it, bro, right? So, fuck it. But the whole thing that's blowing me right now is, like, talking about some dark energy 
trying to compare a tour bus to a slave ship. Like, what are you talking about right now? What? That is crazy to me, bro. That's so crazy to me. Like, you really going to be friends with somebody for two years, but the whole time you feel like they soulless and dark? Like, you sound dumb as hell, bitch. If anything, we both need saving. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? Like, we was dead-ass at the... We was at the movie theaters. We was siphon. Bitch, you not gonna tell the people how we was at an Italian restaurant and you ate so much fucking food, you fucking vacuum, that the server was like, where did the food go? Like, stop it right now. You talking about some... She ain't let me to the back of her room on her tour bus. She had this big-ass room. Bitch, can I play with my pussy one time in my bed one time? Like, damn, you want to sleep in my bed every day? That's crazy to me. Anyways, yeah, I'm about to actually go to sleep for real this time. But I'm about to announce the, the Europe tour dates because for me, the shit... The shit well, if you guys been tuned into this whole Ice Spice and Cleo Trapper situation, please let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. So it's not even about not, it's not even about being scared to say it to her. It's about being scared to see your reaction in person. Like your reaction would have led to something, something bad, something bad. And I wouldn't even have been able to say everything that I just said. You would have cut me off. You would have cut me off. But the fact that I said so much and all you had to say was that somebody was ungrateful. You just wanted all of this to be a reason to call somebody ungrateful. You wanted all of this so that when something was to happen or you was to mistreat me, it was like, girl, look at all I did for you. You mad ungrateful. Like, girl, just because you gave somebody an opportunity doesn't mean you have to treat them like shit. And I could tell that everything that was happening with management or production, that was all from your mouth is what I'm now coming to understand. That you was the one behind the scenes making sure that Cleo don't get no chicken salad or... um. Make sure she don't get no room. Make sure Cleo not in my room. Like, but how you going to tell me I'm going to be with you? That doesn't make any sense. So you, if you were so mad about the bag situation in Philly, why didn't you just straight up tell me, bro, this toy shit is not going to work out? That's what you should have just said. That's what you should have just said. But since you didn't say that, and I just got a, like a hint of just weirdness, I took a step back and just made the opportunity what I could make it. But it wasn't genuine at all. Nothing that you do is genuine. Everything is calculated. Like I said, I was the token black friend. You didn't have your other best friend around because you said that she didn't match your aesthetic. Like there's something very wrong with somebody that is only friends with somebody for their aesthetic. I don't know what's wrong with you, but I should have never let you take my swag. I should have never even gave you a piece of it. Because Lord knows that you was wearing bodysuits and Jordans when you first came out. Now all of a sudden, it's mini skirts, it's little dresses, and big chunky boots. Like, girl, that's me. And I let you have it because I thought we was friends. But, boo, you're going to have to give it back and figure something out now. Because I don't like what I, I did not like that at all. But you know what? I'm initially going to do charge it to the game and let everybody know what type of human being you are. Cause it's not even like what type of girl you are, what type, what type of human being you are. You're not a girl's girl. You're not for the girls at all. You're not. That's why you barely have any friends. And that's why you most definitely don't have any black friends. Never seen any black girl around her. And the black friend that you did have exposed you. But I'm doing this shit a little a little differently because I want people to actually feel it. I want people to actually feel it. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all can still support her and y'all can still love her down. Y'all could do everything. But let me tell y'all what y'all not going to do. Don't disrespect me behind her. Don't disrespect me behind her because I was nothing but a good friend to her. I'm telling you, bro. Y'all didn't even like the way how y'all didn't even like the way this how this girl dressed when she first came out. Come on, Y2K? I had a Y2K party in 2021 that I didn't even know Ice in 2021. She told me when we first, oh, let's talk about.